What's going on guys, Chris is 50 here and today I'm going to be making a video again on the iRec app which is the iOS 7 and iOS 8 beta uh, screen recorder. So some people were asking on how to download and also in my last video I said I couldn't see any settings. Well after some research and things I realized the settings are in the settings. So what you do is you go to your settings, you open it up, you scroll down and you'll see iRec which is right there. So. Now what you do is you click it, and then here are your settings. So you're going to want record audio on, unless you're not doing maybe commentary like this. But um, So these are the settings I use. Bitrate is at 6,000. That, that seems that's going to be the best. For FPS, I would say 30, because if you record 60, then YouTube is going to put it down anyway. Down to 30. If you record 60, which uh, the only game I can think of offhand right now is I believe it's called Modern Warfare 5 for the uh, uh, phones. I'm trying to think. I'm not 100% sure, but it's something like that, and that records in 60. But 30 seems the best as YouTube downgrades it anyway. And video orientation is portrait unless you're playing, you know, games, I suppose, like Modern Warfare, where, you know, your screen's going to be tilted up and uh, the button will be to the side. Instead of, you know, straight, vertical, it'll probably be horizontal. So, another question was, how do you download apps? Well, to download apps, you're going to want to go in the general, and you want to go date and time. Then, once you're in date and time, what you're going to want to do is open up MU4 iOS. Once that opens, you're going to want to pick an app, which... I'm just going to go with file browser. File browser. You hit install and then you're going to want to install it. And then I'm going to scroll all the way until All right, we're in 2012. So now all we got to do is just go here and let me move this. All right. So now we just wait and there you go. It is installed. Hold on one second. Okay, so now my date is in 2012. Now all you gotta do is just open up the app once while it's in 2012, and there's all your things. You go back into settings. You set it back to 2014. And now your app should work just fine in 2014. If you're experiencing any crashes or anything like that, set it back to 2012, run the app once again once, Set it back to 14, and you should be okay. So thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. If you enjoy the channel, please check out more videos and share. Thanks for watching.